Goran Djokovic, your nephew has been held in detention for the last few days. Uh, how do the family feel about that? Uh, we, of course, we feel very, very, very bad about that. You know, we, we, cannot, we still don't believe that it's happening in, uh, in the 21st century. Number one in the world and one of the best player ever, one of the best sportsmen ever, you know, he's arrested by the government in Australia. But this morning, or overnight, after about seven hours of a very difficult hearing with technical problems and it seemed to go on forever, but the judge said that Novak had obeyed the rules, he'd met the criteria for entry into Melbourne and released him. So there must have been a brief moment of joy. Yeah, we're supposed to celebrate that, you know, to win over Australian state, you know, but unfortunately this is not true because Novak is still in the lawyer's office in the building of the court trying to see what they will do because the threatening from the lawyer, the state lawyer, He's threatening that the uh, Minister for Immigration can overrule the uh, decision of the court and can arrest him again. This is the threatening for him. And also, they, are, they told him personally, for him it's better to go immediately to leave, to left Australia, to leave Australia immediately, or they, will, they can match the, the penalty, three years ban, to get into the Australia in the next three years. So they're really trying to force him to leave the country? Yes, yes, and the federal police was there. Uh, recently, I heard that they are, uh, left the, 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 the court, uh, the basement, but I don't know what's happening at the moment because we, don't, we are still waiting and he's still consulting with, with the lawyers what to do. How does this make you feel about the Australian state? I cannot believe it's happening, you know. This is like, like, uh, like a horror, you know. It's, it's, uh, I still cannot believe it because we are living protesting every day with the people, you know, and I don't know what's wrong with the people there, you know. If they are, if Novak is not welcoming, they're supposed to say that, please, please don't come. And if they are issued a visa for him, and after that, they are arrest him, this is like, a, uh, for me, it looks like a trap for the animals, you know, like a wolf, animals in, in, in the mountain, you know, and uh, they invite him to come and they trap him and put him in the jail, trying trying to put him on his knees, but it's not possible. With Serbian, we are a very proud Balkan uh, nation, Serbian. We will see what will happen, you know, and uh, uh, I expect they will, keep, they will keep pressure on Novak, you know, because, because they don't want to release. Even, as I said, the lawyer is threatening in front of the judge. He's threatening to Novak, and, and the judge was, was really doing his job, you know, which is, which is right, which is, he do the right job, you know, and uh, this is not about the sympathy or no sympathy, but Novak didn't break any law. Well, Scott Morrison said rules are rules, and the judge upheld the rules this <laughs> yeah. morning. We'll see where it goes from here. Yeah, Scott has to take care about his position in the next election. I don't know, maybe his PR is thinking that this is good. I don't think it's good, you know, and I, I have feeling that he will not be anymore after April, he will not be anymore in Prime Minister in Australia. This is what I think and I hope.